This week on 3D Printed Soup, Death World Terrain, planets where flora is more deadly than its fauna. That's right after this. Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. This week we're gonna do some more battlefield terrain. Now we have done ruins, we have done sci-fi lab sort of uh, prints, what haven't we done that makes a really good 3D printed battlescape? Flora! No, not the yellow spread stuff you put on your toast instead of butter. I'm talking about plant life. Whether it's giant scary trees, whether it's lush swamps, mangroves, having plant life on your alien planet really gives it a strange otherworldly feel. So yeah, when digital taxidermy, we've used them before, we like them, contacted me and said, hey, we've got some files that you might like to check out. I downloaded some of their alien jungle death world stuff that has really cool trees and really strange pitcher plants and all these giant alien growths that you can basically use as terrain instead of the standard buildings. And yeah, I think that they look really pretty cool. I'm going to print them out in resin this time on my L on my Creality resin printer. And yeah, we're going to see what these things turn out like and see if they look as sort of weird, alien and uh, just generally freaky as the file photographs look. Before we do that, however, thanks to everyone who subscribed this month. We're heading towards the 500. If you haven't subscribed, please drag your cursor down, a bit to the right, down a bit. See the red one says subscribe? Give that a click. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your support. Welcome to the family. We love you. Right, with that toadying over, let's jump in and 3D print ourselves some really nice resin, flora, alien terrain. Links in the description below. Let's give these a print. Okay, yeah, I'm very happy with the way these turned out. I do like these sort of pitcher plants with the uh, open necks at the top to basically suck down sort of alien insects and uh, lure in creatures for them to devour. Flesh eating plants are always kind of creepy and I've always liked them. I also like these weird sort of pseudopod things that you can almost imagine them sort of 
belching out poisonous spores, choking everything around them. And the way that they all sort of lead down to these weird, tuberous stalks that go into the uh, iron-rich, sort of crusty soil underneath them. Those look really, really awesome. But what I especially like are the files that mix and match them. So you've got the uh, huge sort of uh, tuber-like things at the top and you've got the pitcher plants at the bottom. So almost like working in tandem to luring creatures to their doom. I really, really like those. You can imagine sort of like having 30 or 40 of these things printed out all over your battlefield and making a really cool sort of almost lost in space 1950s sci-fi battlefield. And then of course you got this thing, which is just plain terrifying. It's sort of a, a weird tumour that comes out from this sort of nest of sort of blood red, blood red roots that go into this huge globule at the top which is held in place by these uh, claws or teeth. I don't know what kind of mime turned that up but it's something out of a Roger Dean picture. You know the guy did all the Yes album covers. This is, yeah that's lovely. I have like 12 or 13 of those across your battlefield, you make this wonderful sort of weird horror, almost uh, H H.R. Geiger bio-horror thing. Yeah, love that very, very much. And having those across your battlefield just gives it a really nice ugh, factor. In fact, if you played Tyranids or that come from Warhammer 40k, this thing would fit really nicely with those horrible, nasty sort of bio-horrors coming at you. So yeah, very happy with those. Thanks to Digital Tax for maybe for sending those across. I don't get paid by them. They just sent me a few files to try out and I love their stuff, so I gave it a try. Next week, I'm gonna do some industrial vehicles. They just released some buildings and some cars and some sort of diggers and rollers and they look very, very cool. Thanks so much for watching 3D Printed Soup. Please feel to like and subscribe. Stay happy, stay safe, keep printing.